Hey there, Liliana here. I'm an operations program manager here at Google, and I work on our maps and search products. And hi from me, Saman. I'm a curriculum developer here at Google too, developing GCP enterprise and sales training. On this episode, we'll be looking at Cloud Dataproc, a faster, easier, more cost-effective way to run Apache Spark and Apache Hadoop. We'll also take you through a quick demo of a self-paced lab where we'll use the GCP console to create a Cloud Dataproc cluster, run a simple Spark job, and change the number of worker nodes. If you're using popular data processing tools like Hadoop and Spark, you're probably spending more time than you want on managing the balance between cost, complexity, scale, and utilization. Absolutely. When I've got vast quantities of data to process, I want to be focusing on the insights provided, not the cluster processing it. As a managed Spark and Hadoop cloud service, Cloud Dataproc makes these powerful data tools easy to use. What you don't want to be worrying about in data processing is cost and complexity. Using Spark and Hadoop shouldn't break the bank. So on top of the other GCP resources you use, there's only a small incremental fee payable per virtual CPU in your cluster. Dataproc automation also helps you save money by turning clusters off when you don't need them. With billing in one second clock time increments, subject to a one minute minimum, you also only pay for what you use. Now time for Quick Labs. In this hands-on app, we'll use the GCP console to create a data proc cluster, run a simple Apache Spark job, then modify the number of workers in the cluster. There's a separate lab where the same activities can be completed using the gCloud CLI too. You can check out the links to start the Quick Labs here. Each lab will take about 30 minutes to complete. So far in the lab, we've created a data proc cluster in the US central region. We navigate to the data proc jobs view. We submit a sample Spark job that calculates the value of pi. We check the job output. We can see the value of pi that was calculated by the job. In the lab, you'll also have the opportunity to change the number of worker instances in your cluster. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We'd love to hear how Cloud Data Proc has improved how you run Spark and Hadoop, so please get in touch. And if you haven't signed up for the $300 free trial credit on GCP, check out this link. It's a great way to apply what you've learned. All of our additional training resources are linked below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.